Hello and welcome into another video. In today's video, I'm gonna try and fix this Xbox original blue controller. Now the problem with it is the dreaded wire somewhere here has split and you've got to sort of wiggle it to get some sort of movement. This does belong to a friend. This was bought at Play Expo Blackpool back in October. Um, I think he got two for 30 pound. Uh, I was gonna try and just sort of like open it and cut it and solder it. However, I found one of these in my drawer. It's an exact match. As you can see, it's in sort of shitty shape, but it does work. Now he has stressed that he would like me to try and keep this sticker in as much original condition as possible. Um, uh, I was gonna try and peel it off and stick it back on, but as you start peeling it, it leaves like something on the back of it, like a foil thing. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna get a small scalpel. And I'm just gonna try and make a tiny X, get me screwy in, and then um, try and somehow get the sticker to, um, I'll try and sit flush. I mean, this control I've got anyway, I don't really use it to be honest with you. Um, as I say, it's seen better days. And yeah, it's, is it? Yeah, it's exactly the same as that one. So hopefully today's video will just be a straightforward swap on out the board. So yeah, I, what I might do then is the one I take out of here, I might actually, you know, solder it and at some point put it back into that. But as I say, I'm not gonna use that, so I'm not really bothered to be honest with you. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna put the Xbox on and I'm just gonna show you the problem. Right, okay, uh, we've got Xbox on, we're plugged into the Xbox and there's our first problem. Please reconnect the controller. So maybe if I wiggle this, we might get some movement out of it. Mm, press start to continue. There's the start button. Ah, so it's somewhere here, the break. Somewhere there. Okay, well, that's a significant break, that. Here we go. Must be somewhere in here, in the little flex. Yeah. This controller, if anyone's wondering, is the S model. First released in Japan. Now I'm told these are quite rare, but I don't think they're so much rare. I just think they they go for about five thirty. Years on the East Coast, it was time to go home. We skip this. Yeah, uh, I think they got about thirty pounds on eBay. I've got a quick look. Mm. Must be a way to skip that. The myth is quite nice. Well, quite a nice model with some LED lights inside there, actually. What I'm also going to do as well, I'm going to give the seams a bit of a clean as well. Um, as you'll know, with old controls and joysticks, if they've never been opened before, you get dry sweat. So I'm going to give it a good, a good clean as well. Can we skip this over? Right, I'll tell you. Oh yeah. Yeah, it's done it again. So let's, let's try and get it onto the actual gameplay. I remember when these went back in the day, they were an absolute bugger. You just couldn't do anything with them. Yeah, whatever's gone must be in this little, this little flex here. Tell you what, let me just try my one just to make sure that actually does work. Hey, righty ho. Here's mine. As you can see, you go up, down, um, and all your buttons work as well. Hey, 
this is easily easily the best game on the um, Xbox original right out a shadow of a doubt yeah everything works as it should looks quite nice though I was going to buy the um, definitive edition but the bugs and all the problems that are wrong with it no I think I'll leave it until it's all patched and working and possibly comes down in price because 55 to 57 pound well that was for digital download say 50 pound for the physical extortioners but graphically I must admit it looked absolutely beautiful full of glitches as a prostitute um right okay so let me just double check it up yeah all that works obviously these thumbsticks are going to be coming off as well and the original ones put back on so i'll just unplug this and i'll plug that one back in right there we go and um, just put that there grab this controller again we'll get back in yeah it's well and truly dead right so what i'm going to do i'm going to pop it on my cutting mat table i'm going to take this apart we're going to take that one apart and we're going to swap internals right first things first let's see if i can get that sticker sort of like open without wrecking it and what better tool to do this the sharpest tool in my box is a medical scalpel I've used this in the past to perform illegal operations, brain surgery, kidney transplants, you know, the usual. Nah, I'm joking. I may dust that. Right, let's just see if I can feel for that sticker. I tell you what, let me just change camera angles. Right, okay, I can feel it just in there. So what I'm going to have to do is just push it in a little bit feel it there right so that way I can go in that way but I'd rather just make an X maybe like a suggested there we go right okay so I have successfully made a little X now if I play it right screwy should go in there and it should fall back on itself so what i'm going to do i'm going to take all some so what i'm going to do i'm going to take all the screws out and uh, i'll see when i've opened the both controllers to be honest with you right so here we have the both controllers open um i've left that screw purposely just hanging out i think the trick is don't take it all the way out because if you pull it back in you're likely to get these stuck on the side so yeah hopefully hopefully that'll sit flush when it goes back in and the sticker will look like it hasn't been opened uh right yo so what i'm going to do if only i could change the plugs to solder into the board so unfortunately i can't so it'll be a case of uh whipping this out i'm going to leave the original vibration motors in for them and i'm just going to whip the whole thing straight out straight out of that straight into that uh, and obviously change the thumbsticks because they're crap and they're good but before i do that i'm just going to get rid of the layer of crud that you usually get with joysticks and controllers of this age it's unavoidable i mean you know back in the day who actually opened the controllers and thought i don't know i'll just give it a bit of a clean no one and if you say you do you're lying right okay i've cleaned both cases I've basically just gone round the edges with a nice um, antibacterial wipe, give it a bit of an air dust. Um, so now it's time for the transplant. So if I just, let me see. Yeah. Right, I've disconnected the two motors on that. That should just lift off, hopefully, if all is well remove that motor there take off this blue thing as well does this come off i think it should do should 
just clip that's the one it just clips off it's on that side as well two clips on either side Anyhow, let's get this side off first keep your finger on it it's been a bit of a bugger let's move that out the way there you go pull that one off and that one off there we go right these are gonna come off as well now thummies put that aside for now put that aside for now get the thummies also give them a clean as well that's the board that's knackered um i think there's nothing else really on there that's salvageable and uh, no so i'm gonna well, i'm not gonna throw it i'm gonna keep hold of it because as i've said i'm gonna use that in a later video and a uh, transplant my stuff in take these off I should have already done this before I started filming, but hey ho. Right, stick that in there. Same as. Lift it off. That's on one side. Two clips. Two clips and clip that off. That one goes on there like that. There we go. Take these horrid thumbsticks off. Put these nice ones on. Click them in place. Right, that's all sorted. Do we need to clean that? No, it's not like that. It's not that. <laughs> Whoops. Ah, bugger. Picked the wrong case up. Hey mind. Screws in there. Right now, this. Yeah, it's that way, isn't it? I think. Yeah. Okay, there's the top. And that should just clip in there. Turn that over. Slot ski that in there. Get it in its little holes. Connect the thy motors up. Here we go. It just clicks in there. Let's give it a bit more of a clean around the edges there. while it's open just give it a little bit of a clean then as well two motors in place see how I think we're there I think we're done to be honest with you yeah i'll pop the cover back on and i'll show you well see if we can salvage the um the sticker eh? right so we've got all the screws in now and the last screw is this pesky little sticker one so if we just tread carefully with this and just give it some light twists So we can feel the tension. There we go, that's tight. Now, if we're careful, just use the screw, really, just to pop it down there like that. Hold it there for a minute. There we go. See a little bump, but you know, it's not perfect. I suppose maybe you could get a bit of sticky tape on that and just, but yeah, I'm happy with that. 
it does slightly bump up a little bit but you know these things aren't meant to be cut I'm afraid so you know yeah yeah because unfortunately you know the sticker being a whole thing on the back it's now at least a bit of pressure I've cut it it's an open wound but yeah that looks a lot better than what it did two seconds ago yeah yeah I'm happy with that right so there's only one final thing to do and it's retesty let's get back onto the Xbox original and here she is in all her glory give it a bit of a wipe down as well on the front there's a few nicks and uh, things there's one there's a little little white mark there but generally really nice condition controller as I say these go for around about 30 sometimes 40 pound on eBay there's the sticker there it's showing up a little bit worse on camera but believe me it's not all that bad to be honest with you yeah beautiful controller that beautiful and we are back blue controller in hand to control the land as you can see goes down left right as it should and it runs punches I've turned the sound down because I'm going to jump into a car and I don't want to get a copyright claim. Just jump into this one. Yeah, it works beautifully. Do you know what? I spent some serious hours on this game back in the day. And I mean, I still play it now. Not all the time, but, you know, if I'm feeling sort of nostalgic, I'll put it on. Uh, I'm currently at the, oh, what is it? Train level. Uh, when I say the train level, I mean the one where you've got to chase the train. Uh, I don't know what it's called. But, yeah. Much better plugged into my CRT, this I must say. I have got a component cable, but that's not mine. I've borrowed it, but for some reason it gives me like a green screen. So the picture's nice and sharp, and this, this telly does take components. I'm just using the uh, normal composite you get with the Xbox. A little yellow plug. Oh, what a game. What a game. It's going into the countryside now. So many glitches with that new one. They took away the fog, I believe they pull it back now. Um what else did the just just people's heads were like small and stuff like that. Texture mapping wasn't working properly and and all that palaver. But I think they're patching it because the physical release they were doing. Um they sort of put it back, I think it's to the 19th of December, is it? It was supposed to be the 11th. Uh, I said I was going to get it, but I'll wait. And do you know what? I might actually wait, like I said, until it comes down in price. I'll tell you what, it's no good playing any kind of console or computer game this close to the telly box. Right, so what's that there Crippen memorial oh yeah this is the uh the countryside bit in it last drop warehouse services oh, the game just completely blows me mind honestly spend hours and hours and hours back in the day just explore it's a game i've never completed and uh, I kind of like everything I used to play. Ah, uh, yeah, oh, there's inside track, the um, betting shop. I'd get so far, 
and uh, I just gave a peed off for it and just leave it. It's the Sanchez motorbike. I'll have a rip on this before I wrap today's video up. If you're new around here and you haven't subscribed, by all means consider subscribing. It's free to subscribe. Oh, oh yeah, that works. Both motors work. Vibrations. Whoops. Can we do an endo? Yep, a little endo. Can we do a wheelie? Yep, yep, yep. Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. This S <laughs> this Xbox, incidentally, I'm using is the one I did say Phil broke when I was only messing. He hadn't broke it. He's uh, he's modded it and put a new hard drive in it. Um, I think he said he used a Raspberry Pi to mod it. Basically, so it could take any hard drive. Um, I think he said he's put 50 games on it, but he said something about the folders just need to be, Xbox needs to be told where the games are. So I'm assuming at some point he'll sort that for me. But for now, just happy to have an Xbox back, play my favourite game, which is this. And also my favourite racing game, which is um, Outrun 2. Absolute belter on this console, that, that game. Is this the power station, is it? Ah, oh, there's a little jump I've missed. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'll just do this jump and I'll wrap this video up because I'll just end up playing it for hours and hours and hours. I'll just end up talking rubbish. And uh, you may unsubscribe. Little jump, little jump, little jump. Endo wheelie, yay! Oh, look at that. Look at that. Where do we land though? Where do we land? Ah, oh, beautiful. Beautiful. A $500 unique stunt bonus. Right, okay. Well, that wraps that one up. That's all um, nice and clean, all working. All singing and dancing. Cheers for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video. Nice shooting, son. What's your name? Chewy. <laughs> <laughs>